Uh, yeah, you. I tried. To, I'm trying to talk to you. I didn't mean to like walk over there. Oh, this cone okay. Uh, it's 15 bucks. What was that about you running an errand and illegal narcotics, um, Kuno? Kuno gets it from his dad. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. His eye bulge. Their veins reach out like teary tree branches. Ew. That's where Kuno gets his lightning from. On. Problem is, Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now Junkie's clawing at Kuno's door. Street going mad. Kuno's gonna, gonna throw his dirty popo man at it. Okay, okay. Dirty popo poo poo man popo man it is you. Uh, he nods at the building behind him. It is in there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids in speed. If you can take him, you can have half of the speed. Uh, okay. Who is your dad, Kuno? Kuno dad is a fucking monster. He's the most violent man in Rivershaw. He doesn't give a shit about a single thing. He drinks too. Are you sure you can take the most violent man in Rivershaw in your condition? Probably not. Um, how much material we're we talking about, Kuno? Like half, half of what? A baggie, but like in this vial. But that's half a gram, sir. Half a gram? Yeah, the confidence is unwavering. Half a G. Want it or not? But that's not very much material at all. Fuck you talking about half a G? This shit is giant grade eight shit. You clean, ye so clean you can barely see it. You can barely see it because there's barely any. It's funny. Uh, I made up my mind, Kuno, and this is what's gonna happen. Motherfucker. Okay, Kuno's listening. Um. Yeah, I'm a fucking narc, dude. Lie, you need speed. Yeah, I'm going there. I could either be a violent man or going there for fucking justice. I'm a narc, Kuno. I'm gonna confiscate that crap. Sure, he winks at you. Confiscate it for Kuno, and you can have half. So half a, half of a half is a quarter, right? We're probably talking about a quarter gram here. Just get in the apartment building. Kuno knows you already fucked your way in. Kuno knows everything. He aggressively points at his eyes. Go to room 12, first floor, and kick down the police door. Police violent style. Kuno style. And then it's action. You are locked in the room with a violent fuckhead. Split a kilo with Kuno. That's it. Next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. What the hell are you signing us up for? Yeah, I'm, let's just take the drugs away from this fucking minor dude. Yeah, I'm gonna kill Kuno's dad. I'm fucking gonna murder him. There's no way I could actually murder him. The fuck? I just got the news. Fucking update from my phone. They're talking about bringing back baseball in this new proposal. Let me read it for you. A wire realignment proposal is on the table to bring baseball back during the COVID-19 pandemic, which I think is a terrible idea given the fact that the NBA players, like an entire two teams, I think, got fucking tested positive. So, if you have the entire fucking gang, it's a physical sport. You're going to be near each other. You're going to be breathing heavily when you're running bases. There's no way you could keep a six feet distance. That kind of ruins the game because you kind of need to be close to the fucking base. Unless you're constantly stealing. That's not going to fucking work. The fuck are you on about fucking bringing back base by the pandemic? Like all those fuckers could get the fucking... Um, well, I guess it could work if none of them have the virus and they're constantly being tested. To make sure none of them have the virus. Because the thing is, they sure, they're not going to get the virus from the players, but they can get the virus from like one of their family members. Maybe like one of them, someone they're living with. Maybe one of them like works somewhere. That's like, one of them is a nurse. And probably could get the virus from that way. It could be like so many different scenarios. And you got to be so fucking... You have to have a good plan. That's what I'm saying. Anyways. <laughs> what the hell are you sending up so for? <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'm gonna take the I'm, I'm kill him. Um, I'm gonna take the drugs away from a minor. Okay, then he concedes. All right, I'm off. You know this fucking. Yeah, of course you care. You want me to fucking go kill your dad? The fucking. I'll die before I squeal. Yeah, you're still not talking to me. 
Alright, we can go to the building, actually. I mean, I have to fight him. It's gonna be hard to do. Did I pay my rent today? I think I paid it already. I wanna say I paid it already. Hey, yo, racism, man. You got anything to say? Find something here. Three teeds. How did you do manic? Three Looking teeds. For something, Hunt? No. What I need is some health. Just in case I do have to fight this motherfucker. Um. The yellow roses in the window don't aren't the flowers. You know, scratch jaw. Ah, oh, so I could like go look around flower. I should. Um, is this about the questions again? Cause I don't really know anything. Uh, leave. Hold on. Let me put the fucking flash out of the way. I'm sorry. I blinded your fucking face. I'm blinded your eyes. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I want to get some medicine. Okay, that's health. Free health. Ooh. Uh, if I get three of these, that's uh, like 20 cents cheaper. Give me, yeah, give me one of those. And then give me a nose feed. Alright. Yeah. Okay, I think we're ready to fight. <laughs> we're ready to fight for now. Do I have, I think that I have the wife beater, right? I don't know, I still don't understand why it's called a wife beater. It's because, like, all wife beaters wear it. It's weird. It's so weird. Let's see. Did one of them give me, like, yeah, physical instrument. I could have this. All right. Put that on. Uh, I lose one rhetoric with that. Got yeah, logic from the glasses. Do I still have the glasses on? No, I have a different glasses. Visual calculus and a drama minus one. Uh, what I I don't need logic. I need something else. Drama, logic, electrochemistry, composure. You know, help me out right now. We go beat up his dad. Go beat up his dad. I mean, we have to go in that building anyways. We have to go. Oh, it's over here. We have to go and talk to the smoker guy. And then we gotta call it a night so I can steal those boots. Uh, okay, look at this again. I can try again. Sydney, artistic, in the dimming light, some things become clearer. Oh, uh, so is the time like around 20? It's pretty high. Pretty hard. Might as well just keep on doing it. Well, well. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on looking at it every time we walk by. Uh, conceptualization. He says room 12, right? Go in there. Where the fuck is room 12? Is this room 12? Uh, hmm. These shoes come in three different sizes. That is weird. Oh, this is room Joe. Uh, looks like we found where Kuno's dad lives. A shabby door is hanging. Okay, an unpaid electricity bill is attached. Do I need to cut off the electricity? It's addressed to Mr. Uno. Of course. Okay. What? I don't know what else I was expecting from his name. Of course, it's Uno. And he's replaced the... the... The thing is, it didn't even, like, change the fucking... The name of it. I mean, the first letter, I mean. Like, you didn't change it to a T, like Tuno, or Funo, or Euno. It, it, he literally, like, took the U and put it to the side. And it's Kuno. Like, the fuck? Um, it um, looks like we found where Kuno's dad lives. And the place comes with three months worth of utility. Should we knock? Or should we just go in there? Um, uh, let's knock. No response. 
The door, the apartment number had fallen off the door, leaving the panel with a sticky one, shaped shadow, and a marker drawn too. You'll need to equip the chain cutters to enter. Snap right through the metal. Man as well. Uh, I got weapons, don't I? I think I do have weapons. Chain cutter is a weapon. Uh, okay. There you go. Use the chain cutters. They fail. I swear to God. Uh, how much did I won by? Cool. That's pretty good. Snip. And the cutter goes through the, the them like dead leaves. The links fall to the ground onto the other side of the door. The tenant looks at you worried. I know there's no stopping you, but at least let's at least make this quick. All right, Kim. I know you're gonna have my back, cause I have your back. All right. I think he's asleep. Good look around. Have you found the drugs? Found money. I'm taking this fucking money. It's my money now. Um, what's this? Kuna de Ruter is a name on unfinished homework. He doesn't know how to spell his name. It's from two years ago. Um, writing this. A phone book lies open on the table, covering a stack of utility bills. Right next to it, in a plain sight, sits a small bottle of amphetamine. Conveniently equipped with a straw. Uh, Lieutenant, I've located psychoactive substances on this table. Good, confiscate it. The minuscule amount of amphetamine doesn't interest the lieutenant in the slightest. He listens instead to something in the other room. Take it. You pocket the bottle as if it was the most natural thing in the world. Leave. I'm not gonna fucking split the Kuno. Erotica covers the, uh, the wall. Alright. Fuck in here. Um, the air stings with something sour. Okay. I guess we talk to him. Try to wake him up. A bundle of clothes heap on the bed. A stained parka, some towels, and a duvet. Some socks even. In the dark, it looks like a nest. <laughs> Hold up, Lieutenant. Look at that pile of clothes. Hmm. Lieutenant has covered his nose. Slowly reach out your hand. Something underneath there is breathing. It's too late. No one's going to blame you for backing out. You don't have to do this. Just get out. Keep extending your hand toward the pile. Your hand touches a greasy duvet covered in cigarette burns and ketchup stains. You hear a growl. There's something alive underneath. Hold the blanket off. Is it a dog? One is dead. Um, you see a 60-year-old fat, red-headed man. Passed out from a large amount of alcohol. And God knows what else. And the smell and shit rises from his mouth. You don't have to take him down. He's already down. I took your amphetamine, old man. Kim, is this thing even alive? I'm afraid it is. Look, it moves. He points out to a fleshy lump st sticking out from the other end of the blanket. <laughs> the limb seems to be twitching from time to time. And look, the other foot is camouflaged by a striped sock bearing the name Max Tor on the sore on the sole. Three toes are poking out of the hole. Um, a groan rises from the man, throat dry like a breath rattle. He's trying to say something in his sleep. Yeah, try to figure it out. It's pretty high. The man groans once again, but his tongue keeps failing him. It is impossible to make out the symbols, the syllables. A hand emerges from the blanket, trying to gesticulate something. And then it draws upon you, clear and surreal. Pigs, he say. He's trying to call you pigs. You're awake. He's, yeah, he is awake. Fuck you, die. You're awake. He's awake. His fans fall back on the bed, limp and defeated. A loud snore escapes his mouth. He's asleep again. At least he got to say his piece. <laughs> So, uh, this is Kuno's father we're seeing. Judging by the color of his hair, I would say yes, it is. The tenant is right. The man's unwatched hair bears a familiar ginger tone. Even even the, t the hair on his chest is crop coppery. The light from the window falls into his half-open eyes. <laughs> I can't believe it. Kuno's dad isn't a loser. It must be someone else. Doesn't look like he's going to fuck anyone up anytime soon. No, it really doesn't. Lieutenant Tootsie said, this looks very hard to recover from. 
This man won't be feeding his family anytime soon. Not that he was, but at least he won't be beating his son. A pair of hat open. Okay. Bug eyes are staring back at you from the dark, empty, and frozen. Clear that the person behind them is not awake. Um, this is Sims. This is serious. Dad, I'm still not sure if he's not dead. Suddenly, the man started growling. Three words managed to escape his mouth, along with a strong stench of alcohol. Fucking pigs! Look, he's trying to communicate. Maybe you could help him somehow. What is there to do? We could help. Turn him on his side so he doesn't choke in his own vomit. But he's already on his side. <laughs> Excellent form. You could take him to Remedy or St. Balestate. But he doesn't have money for medical service. The Elm's house would turn him down. They don't do charity for people who's trying to kill themselves. Besides, he'll be dead in a few. Ten stops listening to him. Years, months, weeks. Alright. Whisper, I took your amphiphenomy, old man. Silence. Only he emanates from the sleeping body. Alright. Okay. Uh, split a kilo. Report back to... Okay. What secrets? That's right. I could use, them, use it to get secrets. To get more information. Um, no, this is right here, right? That's the exit. Hold up, I need to get some food. I am a little hungry. Got food. Um. Um, uh, Kuno. That's what I was doing. I was like, what the hell was I doing? Now I'm talking to fucking Kuno. Stupid Kuno. I have to make a, such a long ass journey back. Oh, let me like all the way out. This way I could like eat a little bit at a time. Oh. oh. It hits my my mic. <laughs> Fuck this Kuno kid. I took care of the drug situation. All right, so you get Kuno's kilo. He rubs his hand together. Here is how it is, how we do it. First, you give Kuno's Kuno's kilo. Then Kuno gives you half back. That's how we split it. Is the best way. No, he's probably going to take it for himself. Oh. Um. Hmm. Um. Where on the street you spent your little is you sent your little friend in dress as a hooker. Distraction time. That's some sick shit. He nods approvingly to Kim. Not a single muscle moves on the man's face. <laughs> um by Kilo you being Graham. Kuno means what Kuno means. You know how big how much a Kuno is? I mean a, ki a kilo is. It's so fucking huge. Hmm. Hmm. Is everybody name's Kuno? Just because it's like a mispronunciation of Kilo? Hmm. Because you, you see, it's it's a C and a K, so that mixes. And then the I and the U are the same vowel. Or just like a different vowels. And then the O is the same and the L. I, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> Honestly, I do wonder. Kuno means Graham. Yeah, he does mean Graham. Um, you're 12. I am giving you shite. All right, Kuno knew you tried to try that sneaky pig shit on him. Tell him, Kuno. Kuno's got brains. This shit doesn't surprise Kuno. So Kuno's gonna give you one more chance. Know this pig. Shit is major. Major fucking choice, pig. Kuno won't take this shit lightly. The pieces are moving, pig. This is a fucking domino shit. The fuck he's gonna do? He's just a fucking boy. It's hard to see how not giving the boy a bag of amphiphenomy would cause some through catastrophic cascade response. I know, right? It's pretty hard. 
Um, hard to see but easy to feel. Something would somehow this will change things. Nah, let's go. Stay with me, kid. You can get into drugs. Uh, decision time. What's it gonna be? You gonna fuck the kuno? All right. Ah. All right. Um. Uh, to do a quick DMV shit. I have it. Found it. All right. Um, this thing with Mikuno. I could see how I would change some things. Actually, no, I don't. What am I saying? Fuck you, Kuno. Um. All right. All right. He throws his hands up in the air. You fuck the Kuno. Everybody, Kuno got fucked by this pocket by his pocket pig. Just when? Just when we getting our business on? The pig throws it all away. You know, I don't even know the consequences of, like, the hell is this kid going to do? We ain't going to do shit. Okay, cool. I told you you can't be trusted. I told you. I told you. The old rat beats it six or seven times. I feel like I got, like, all the information I needed from him, too. Oh. Fuck you. I told you to steal that shit. Relax, see, we got plenty of kilo. Kilo on the ground and the tree. Thank you. This ain't about that. He turns to you. This is about you and Kuno. You just manage this shit. Now everything's gonna is fucked between us. How are you gonna make this up to Kuno, huh? I could buy your fucking your shit. In truth, Kuno doesn't really believe there's anything you can do to make up for this. The damage is irreplaceable, irreparable. Um, I did not give, I didn't, I did right not giving you the drug. Let's conclude this. There are tons of unpaid utility bills there. There's a textbook with your name on it in your apartment. You know, I met your dad. I looked around there. It's not the easy life you got going on in that apartment. What was that? What the fuck you know about Kuno's life? Kuno's got plans. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we got plans. Kuno, I met your dad. Yeah, how the fuck are you still alive, pig? Um, Kuno, your <laughs> dad is half dead alcoholic. He was sleeping under some clothes. I, I killed your dad, Kuno. Nah, I'm not I'm gonna tell this kid that. What? His eyes became loud, large, and round. His posture changed. The swing rooster motion stopped for a second. Then he gets it going again, reorienting himself. Uh, Kuno's dad was sleeping like a bum. He snapped it back. Kuno told you. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. Fucking breaking and entering shit. That's some. That's nothing to Kuno's dad. I feel like it should. It she should care about that. He got lucky. Kuno knew this. He points to himself. Kuno's fucking violent fiend dad's been drinking hard lately. Kuno knew you have a way in. Narrow window. Kuno's window. Um. Uh, yeah, whatever scary thing he might have been, now he's nothing. Yeah, Kuno's dad is fucking nothing. He pushes on bravely. Fucking coma shit, stroke shit. Kuno's dad is so fucking violent. He had a stroke many times shit. I think that's because of something else. And we love Brandon Cooks to the Houston Texans. Um, okay. Kuno's gonna have one too. Kuno... And I'm be like Kuno's dad. Speed shit, crime shit, fucking on the bed. Kuno's gonna go I'm like Kuno's dad. Revel Shaw West style. Stop saying all this sad shit, Kuno. The whisper comes usual us comes smaller than usual. There's a touch of grief in there. Okay, I'm talking about sad. The kids breathe in and out like a boxer. Kuno's got hard shit. He's punches the air, dead shit, nothing shit. You you don't have to turn into that. He punches there, get your fucking nun out of your ass. Nugging ass out of here before Kuno's fucks it dead. Another punch. You think cause you took Kuno's speed, Kuno's gonna sob like a Um turn into Kuno ain't turning into shit. Kuno is Kuno is that shit. Do you need to go back to school? Uh oh. I drop a chocolate chip. Mm hmm. You won, Kuno. The relief is palatable. The little straight hat jumps up and down behind the fence.
There's a textbook with your name on in the apartment, yeah? In terms of even redder, so fucking what? It says Kuno. Not Kuno. Kuno de Ruture. Okay, you are talking about to talking to Kuno about that kitty shit. I like it, Kuno de Ruture. That's a lame name, Kuno. I like it. It's trying to fuck you again. Look, Anna or Kuno knows it's fucking lame. That's why Kuno changed it. Kuno could change his name to anything. Gonna change my name into... Okay. Don't change your name into that, Kuno. There were tons of unpaid utility bills there. Fuck, right there were. Fucking three years or some shit. They haven't kicked them out or anything. Um... Let me guess. Kuno doesn't give a shit about them. And that's right. This is one to pound on people and drink. Find a job, pay them yourself. Your dad can't handle things anymore. Fuck that shit. Kuna's gonna move underground. Lay Lay royal my shit. Ancient shit. Kuna's gonna live in a fucking catacomb. Alright, I did the right thing. Go away. I didn't change shit, pig. The only thing they made things work. Fucking social worker shit. It doesn't work, pig. Alright. Can I buy your pants? I think I could still buy his pants. Maybe, like, come back. Oh, this cone okay? Yeah. I think maybe he could come back from all this. Do you have anything to say? I I no, nothing? Nah. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, I can't click over here. That sucks. Alright, um, the only thing left to do is the rhetoric. I think the rhetoric is going to be perfect right now. Mm. Right. What else is there? No, there's much in there. I got a relic for Sealing. I don't know who that is. I forgot who that is. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go talk to Titus. Let's see what he has to say about all this. Ah, you know, I'm glad this mic doesn't pick up me swallowing my, my milk. I don't know why people hate milk. Milk is great. It's you again. What is it? Ah, uh, 42%. Jesus Christ. Might as well just keep trying. Oh! Yes! Convince Titus he's being manipulated. Bad idea. Bringing her up would do no good. We should know by now Titus would never falter. And that's it then. Case closed. We're going home camp. No, one of his boys will. Just remember, it's more. Is it about more than Kalesi. It's about these men and Manitanese, their district and their responsibilities. Okay. That's it then. Case closed. We're going home, Kim. Look around. Huh? The lieutenant rises his brow. You'll get it. Go on. Write it down, Kim. The Manitanese, they just kill you because they didn't. They don't like you. Got it. He takes out his notebook. Kill you because they don't like you. All because... Ooh. Okay. Because of some chick, you're a foreigner, you work for the wrong people because they like killing. Ooh. One, I have to choose wisely. Which one would anger him? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm going based off the hints. To remember, it's more than about. It's about these men in rare scene, the district of responsibilities. So, wait, do I have to, like, get. Yeah, convince Titus he's being manipulated. Bad idea. Bringing her up would do no good. She knows about him. Titus will never falter. 
the because you work for the wrong people god damn right this is union town you work for the company we will kill you but then if we don't kill you if you work for the company half the harbor works for the company <laughs> works for the wrong company just then they execute you they just hang you like in the dark ages make a display of your corpse they club you from behind string you up and go back to drinking it's cool guys you just drag them back out back light their corpses on fire piss on them you don't care should I go stream on it? Um, try to be honest in my reporting. See that one. It wasn't that. It wasn't. We just couldn't get him down. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> they put him up and they couldn't bring him down. That's hilarious. That's actually really funny. I'm gonna finish this eating it. That's it. That's the week one. You flush him out. Not going for the. Oh. Sorry, man. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. My dog is barking for some whatever reason. Officer, you will be next if you don't shut up. The old man reaches for his belt, but his voice is strangely calm. Firearm. Oh, that's my gun. A glass 08 or a 30.38 caliber pistol. It is small enough for you you to have missed. He's on to you. He knows what you're trying to do. Ooh. Who was it? No, it was Angus, right? Um, Let's see. Turn to Angus. Or what? You're going to fucking kill me like you killed him for no fucking reason? What's happening? What happens if I keep talking? You're going to kill me too in this bar for nothing? I'm going for Angus. Okay. Angus. Oh. Fucking got him. Ha ha. The truth comes out, bitch. Fucking fat bastard. We didn't kill him. We didn't even hang him. He was dead when he talks. He takes a breath, wheezing. Shut up, Angus. He was dead before you hanged him? Fatty. The little guy hits Angus on the back of the head. A loud slap. Say one more thing to the cop and now. Dennis. Titus War. Stand up or I beat your head in. Theo. He points it on men. Take your hands off the belt. This isn't 31. I got this under control. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright. The room falls quiet. So quiet you can hear Angus wheeze. Angie, where's your goddamn inhaler? You sound like you're dying. Uh oh. I left it at home. I can't get it. I'm too fucked. He grabbed his chest. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Liz. Why are you so fucking fat, Angus? Lizzie snapped at him. Now it's all pointless because of you. You wasted my time. I told you, Titus, he turns to him. I told you, just give her up. Ah. Mission fucking accomplished, boys. Lizzie, he turns to the fixer. Your help is no longer needed here. Go tell Everett. Fine, I'll tell him. After a long walk along the coast, she walks off without looking back. Damn. You're in. He's all yours. Question time. So. You didn't kill him. So you didn't kill him. He's already dead. Whisper. Yeah, everyone whispered to fucking Kim. Kim, you fucking did it. Your tenant gives a smile. Only you can see. <laughs> um, um, so. Let's go straight. Straight to the. Straight. Straight to the main question in hand. So who killed them then? I need leads. Not yet. Just some ideas. She said the shot came from outside. Behind the window somewhere. So that's a clue. Wait, what? She said the shot came from outside. Behind the window somewhere. So that's a clue. Oh. Is it because of that broken window? 
We found the broken window with the the, 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 the dice, girl. Got it. Tell me something else. Okay. We have, we, have a good, we have a good lead now. We have a good lead. The broken window. She said from a window. Somewhere. Behind the window somewhere. There has to be from... We, there's a broken window from the dice. Okay. We can go check that out. Actually, I'm going to see what was the other option. Uh... What are you thinking? I'm thinking somewhere past, someone's past caught up with him. Either his, hers or his. Hers, you mean. She got one of those cherry carrier part pass. The shot could have missed, could have been meant for her. Hmm. I like that. Been thinking the same thing about myself. Myself. And you had ideas about his past too? I do. One of the mercenaries buddies of his could have done it. They got guns, training, years of bad blood, probably. Or it could have been someone else from Colonel. Pause the thing. Tell you what. <laughs> Check out the codes for vantage point. Maybe consult with a ballistic body buddy of mine. That's what I do. I wasn't too busy doing this clown dance with you. Okay. Um. If Kajud didn't kill him, why the cover up? You have. You may have noticed our girls in some shit of a room. I didn't notice anything. What kind of shit are we talking about? The can't show up on police radar, Rakine. There are people after her from the old, old world where she came from. These people, who, who are they? They're powerful. He looks out the window. Connected to the moral interner. No, it's 21. I gotta go to the smoker guy. She's clearly afraid for her life. She says if she showed up in your system, she'll be guilted away. And why would you help someone like that? By taking on a murderer? Why would I? He shrugs. I guess we abide all sorts of runaways and losers here. It's Meritonese here. Okay. So you didn't kill him. He was already dead. You not. You hanged the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. What was it? We're not sure. Probably a bullet. The wounds were was difficult to see. There, there was a wound. You should try looking for it one more time before you send the body away. I think now we could actually check and see. It. Be more thorough. I think that's something we could do. Why? Because the girl asked us to. They were in some shit. Girls. Yeah. Girl. There's another girl. Two of them. Take note of this. They'll probably say more more about her later. Did she kill him? Cop. I have no idea. The girl says she didn't. He doesn't think she did. Or at least he hopes she didn't. What happened Sunday night? Kalisi came down. He points down to the points to the stairs. She seems really out of it, drugged up even more than usual, bug eye and grinning. You know, not in the fun way. It looked like she redosed after something went down. I seen that look before. She was scared. I knew someone had died. How do you know? I done this job for ten years. I seen it before. It's the politician in the model motel room, the dead hooker scenario, only in reverse. Good analogy, boss. The rat faced man snickers. You don't get to talk yet, Shanky. He points at him. You're still on the bench, and you keep taking it easy too, Angus. What happened then? We went upstairs. Sure as day, the Merc was dead. And there was a bullet hole through the window. Fucking, he scratches his chin. Dirty sheets and bottles everywhere. Uh, okay, so that's why the window was replaced. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. And bottles everywhere. He means they've been fucking... Uh, Tibbs passed the window, and the corpse we hang. Who's Tibbs? The eighth hardy? Nah, he's my brother. He's in the window replacement business. Right now, he's grateful he hasn't gotten his brother into this mess. Okay. I'm sorry I made you guys fight. Me too. Alright, whose idea was it to hang him anyways? Hers? In a manner of speaking. Remember the two girls? He may be talking about the other one. Earlier, you said the girls asked you for her or help. Was this the other girl? That's right. It was her idea to hang him. I liked it. For political reason, it sent a good message. It's her, the missing 8th Hardy. That's the other girl. The big guy turned to Glenn, who's about to say something. Glenn, the blonde shuts his mouth before her word escapes. I'll say it again. Titus turned to you. All the Hardy boys are right here, cops. Boys. That woman is just affiliated with the Hardy boys. You don't even you don't know her anyway. So I could get to know her. I didn't know you any of you before. Now I do. Piece of shit. You know, it's okay for there to be a hardy girl, Titus. Uh, understood. Can you tell me anything about her? You know, yeah, I fucking say it's okay. 
Uh, his face sits like concrete. He shakes his head solemnly. We're hardy boys, and that's it. You fucking piece of shit. Uh, sure. But can you tell me anything about this affiliate name and current location? Nope. I'm not getting to her. It's Kalishi. Do you want to talk to? Him? Sure. Thank you for this, Titus. I'll go talk to her for the last time. You can do that. He grabs his beard and swirls in, in his hands. Then thinks about something. Hey, cop, before you go. She, he looks up. Kalishi came to marry to hide. Many of us did. This is where you wash up when there's nothing, nowhere else to go. The union takes you in now. She refused that protection, but... But you still prefer if we didn't take her away. <laughs> That's right. If we didn't take care of the people who end up here. The plea would just be a couple of ruins. In cargo containers. We take that into account. I get that. I'll talk to her later. I'm gonna see... We're gonna go back to... To the fucking... The body.